we have here link operating the MFD 5000. What's up? How's everybody doing? So with me today, I've got the HearLink uh, radio system, which is just sick. Really excited to try this out. Uh, this is with the uh, MFD 5000 here, my heavy lift drone, uh, as well as a two, uh, Pixhawk 2.1 cube um, inside of this aircraft. So completely different flight controller uh, than we're used to running really with DJI. Um, just giving customers another solution. Uh, also, we've got a uh, GoPro 7 here. This is our FPV camera. Um, and then I guess below, um, you know, customers or clients would hang either like a Ronin 2 or a Movi uh, cinema gimbal with a, a RED or an ARRI camera, or they'd run a LiDAR system or whatever it might be. So today we're just gonna do a little bit of testing with this and uh, we'll see how we do. All right, well, it's working. Here we have here link operating the MFD 5000, the Pixhawk 2.1 cube inside. Looking really good. FPV video is solid. And it's the screen's pretty darn bright too. I don't know if the phone shows it too well, but it's really doing quite well. Uh, I just need to go in and make some things maybe a little easier to get to, like change my flight mode options or something. But um, I'm really impressed. Like This is full hands off. And it's just sitting there. This is no payload right now. Zero payload. So, um, yeah, looking quite good. Test here. The aircraft is way out there. Uh, so we're a thousand feet away right now. Distance to home is a thousand twenty-two feet. And the video is rock solid. Very, very good. Just need to stiffen up my uh, GoPro mount a little bit on the FPV. It's just a little jittery. But, um, man, solid. Really, really solid. Super impressed with the link. Like, doesn't even waver. Very solid. So I just got done testing out this aircraft. Uh, it really did quite well, really impressed uh, for this little controller for 800 bucks. I think it's a very nice addition uh, and it finally makes me um, pretty excited about the uh, Pixhawk and the, and the Cube um, workflow. See all these nets, what the heck? Uh, but the workflow is nice now. So all I need is this and the aircraft, that's it. I don't need a laptop, I don't need an RC controller, I don't need a data link, I have this. Everything's in one. So that makes me really happy. And I think a lot of my customers are gonna like this because a lot of them are, whether it's cinema or LiDAR scanning or whatever it might be, they're on multiple sites a day. So they're, they're flying, they're getting out to the field, flying one or two flights, hop back in, drive for a mile or two and then get to another location, set up, fly again. So I think for those customers, this is gonna be really awesome. I think it's gonna be great, a, a great addition to the fleet. Um, so I didn't have any goofy kind of settings or anything crazy um, happen. Uh, I was just running into one little um, like GPS warning uh, whenever I would take off. Uh, but it was, it was great. Just set this button D right here uh, in between altitude hold mode and loiter. Uh, so GPS uh, hold and it really did well. Uh, the HD video was superb, was excellent. Uh, the latency was quite low. Um, I don't have any numbers on it or anything, but uh, the latency was really good actually. It was quite nice. Uh, I took the aircraft out that away above the high voltage power line, uh, about a thousand feet out that way. It was, I was past a thousand feet past the uh, home position and the video link was absolutely solid the whole time. Data link was absolutely solid. Um, so maybe one day I'll really send it far and uh, see how we do in terms of uh, distance. But overall, uh, for a first test with this, I think this is gonna be great for uh, my clients who are looking for an alternative to DJI. So uh, Philip and the guys um, at HearLink, uh, the guys at uh, Hex, congrats. This is really cool. I look forward to uh, seeing how this will evolve and uh, seeing how this works out. So that's it, HearLink, so far so good. Really impressed.